Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing some cleaning. We are going to be taking down my fall decorations and getting the house all ready to put up my Christmas decor. I also am going to be sharing a very delicious cheese tortellini recipe with you guys. So let's get tackling something on our to-do list today together. are new here my name is Ashley and I upload cleaning motivational videos every Monday and Friday and often a bonus video is thrown in there as well so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up it supports my channel so much and it really means the world to me I could not thank you guys enough I love to hear from you so in the comments let me know a little bit about yourself let me know what's going on what you got planned for the holidays I'd love to get to know you guys just a little bit more so leave some comments down below I always respond and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much I seriously love you guys I appreciate you and thank you for coming back and checking out another one of my videos It is officially Thanksgiving break for the kids and it is a Saturday as I'm recording this. I am so shocked that I was able to convince my husband to let me decorate early for Christmas. We typically decorate the day after Thanksgiving, but since this year has been so crazy, we decided to go ahead and decorate early and I am over the moon about it. I love decorating for Christmas. There's just something so special about seeing Christmas lights. Do you guys feel the same about having Christmas lights in your house? I just love the feeling at nighttime looking at a up tree it really is something special As you guys can see, we are starting off in the kitchen because this is always the area that is completely trashed and needs attention. So we are gonna be tackling the kitchen before starting to take down all of my fall decor. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember Turn the world around us 
I have been needing to vacuum a lot more often these days. Ethan's favorite thing to do now that he has a high chair is throw all of his food onto the floor. For the most part, Yoda will come and clean up his crumbs after him, but if they're super tiny like this, he will not lick them up, so I have to bring out the vacuum all the time now. Now I'm moving into the living room and I'm just gonna do a quick tidy up. There were just a few toys thrown all over and some extra blankets. So once we get all that picked up, we will be ready to start taking down all of the fall decor. This little seat has been sitting under this table for a while now and not being used, so I went ahead and stored it in the boys' closet. Now we are gonna be vacuuming the couch, which is another daily thing I love to get done. And there is just something so satisfying about seeing the vacuum lines on the sofa. It is one of my favorite areas to vacuum. By this time, it is lunchtime and the kids are starting to get hungry, so they requested cheesy roll-ups, which is probably one of their favorite things to eat on the weekend. It's super easy to make and they love it, so this is our go-to lunch. So I'm just taking a little break from cleaning to drink some of my protein powder. I recently got in the Teamy protein powder and I really love it. This is a plant-based protein powder and it's also organic, which I love. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I usually buy a plant-based protein powder. And what I really like about this one is it's pea and rice protein, which usually I don't like those types of protein powders. Usually the taste is not good. And you guys, this chocolate protein powder is really good. It is definitely my top two favorite protein powders. I love Orgain and I really love Teamy. The consistency of it is perfect. This one is less chalky than Orgain. This one is definitely more smooth. And I also have been loving their collagen. I recently got in their collagen. And you guys, so far, I'm really loving this. It goes down smooth. It does have a fish smell to it. So 
Don't be surprised if you open it up and smell that, but you guys, seriously, I am loving Teamy so much, and right now with the holidays coming up, it is the perfect time to get your health on track and to incorporate some great health benefits into your diet, or you can give these to any fitness enthusiast in your life. Right now, I do have a discount code for 50% off, so if you have been wanting to try Teamy or if you wanna gift it to somebody who you know would love their products, Right now, you can use my code FITBB50 and get 50% off of your order, you guys. That is a steal. You guys won't regret it. This stuff is so amazing. So I'm gonna drink this while I finish up my cleaning so we can get all of these fall decorations taken down. I look in the mirror, who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened. Guess we weren't meant to be. I know we had problems. Now that the living area is nice and picked up, I am ready to start taking down all of my fall decor. And this is always a bittersweet moment for me. I really love fall. I love the fall decorations, the fall colors, the fake leaves, all of that just gives me the best vibes. But it's also really exciting when I start putting up my Christmas decorations because like I said, there is just something so special about seeing the house lit up at nighttime that really just warms my heart. I would love to know what is your favorite season to decorate for and do you have that kind of little bit of sadness when you start taking down your decorations? you we were like fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on As you guys can see, I definitely have not dusted this area since I put up the fall decorations. So it was very much needed. These remotes were covered in dust. The mantle was covered in dust. So we are gonna be using my little microfiber glove and we are gonna be dusting this mantle down. Now I'm going in with this liquid gold wood cleaner and almond scent. I've had this for a while, so I just wanted to go ahead and use it up. My preferred wood cleaner is now the Method, also in almond scent, but this one is close to being all done, so I just thought I would go ahead and use it up today. I'm taking off my fall pillow covers and I'm actually on the hunt currently for some Christmas pillow covers. I found a few that I really like. I just haven't decided exactly which ones I want, but when I do, I will definitely be sharing my new covers with you guys.
It feels so good knowing that I have all the areas nice and dusted off and cleaned. So now we are moving on to some laundry. Of course, laundry is never ending. I always have clothes to fold and to be washed. So as you can see, I'm trying to fold in the living room with Ethan and he is trying to pull the blanket and play with my phone. So I'm gonna quickly try to finish up this little bit of folding and then we are going to pick up the boys' clothes. I really need to move these diapers because Ethan constantly pulls them all out and then I'm having to put them back in. So I probably need to move those to a higher shelf. And I've also still been using the KonMari way to fold his clothes and it really has made it so much easier when I'm looking for his outfit. So I would definitely recommend to fold the kids clothes like this, especially when they're little and they don't really go into their dressers and mess them up. So for dinner tonight, I found this new recipe. It's a cheese tortellini dish that looks super easy to make and really delicious. I'm hoping it turns out good. So I will go ahead and show you guys what you will need. And of course, and of course I will leave the link to the recipe in my description below. So for this recipe, all you need is the cheese tortellinis, a fourth of cup of Parmesan cheese, one can of diced tomatoes, half and half, minced garlic and spinach, and of course some spices. So once your cheese tortellini shells are cooked to what the package says, you are going to drain them and then we will get started on the delicious sauce. This recipe was so delicious and it looked like it came from Olive Garden, you guys. It was so good, definitely give it a try. All you do is you put some oil in your pan, you saute your minced garlic, then you go ahead and throw in your diced tomatoes, your spinach, let those combine and wilt. And then once that is ready, you add in your seasonings, then your half and half and wait for that to thicken up throw in your already prepared noodles and your dish is ready to go. And you guys, this was so good. Ethan ate two bowls of it and I highly recommend. But if you do make this recipe, the only improvement I would make is adding more Parmesan cheese. It. Was it so yummy? He had two bowls. After we ate dinner, I had my husband climb up in the attic and get down all of our Christmas decor and he went ahead and put all of the fall decor up in the attic and out of the way. And now we are getting Ethan ready for bed. Tonight is not a bath night, so I am just putting some Dove baby lotion on him. I really love this lotion. It smells so good. It's lavender scent and we are gonna get him ready for bed. But as you guys will see, trying to get him dressed has definitely become a challenge. He is like a little wrestler. I have to wrestle this boy to get his clothes on. How many of you mamas can relate? Oh, 
Now that Ethan is in bed, something that I have been putting on my to-do list for a while now was giving Yoda, our pug, a bath. So tonight was the night I decided to go ahead and give him a really good bath. He's been playing outside a lot and having that stinky dog smell. So it was definitely time to get him all cleaned up. And every time I give him a bath, I always like to go ahead and wash his blankets and his dog bed. That way, whenever he goes to climb back into his dog bed, it's fresh and clean and doesn't leave him smelling like a stinky dog again. Now I'm just switching out the laundry. That way I can go ahead and grab Yoda's blankets and start washing them. I always do a rinse cycle first before washing the dog beds. And I go ahead and add in that Odo band and it really helps get out that dog smell. So if you two have been struggling with that dog smell in the dog blankets, definitely give Odo Ban a try or the Lysol laundry sanitizer. Both of those work really well at getting that dog stink out. And of course, I have to go ahead and clean the bathtub. That way when the kids get in the next time, there is no dog hair left behind. So I'm just going in with my scrubbing bubbles and cleaning the bathtub. Everything was black and white. So Ethan is finally in bed. I was able to give Yoda a bath. I've been needing to do that for a while, so I'm so glad that I got that off of my to-do list. As you guys saw, my husband got all the Christmas stuff down from the attic. The house is all ready to go. It's nice and clean and ready for us to put up the Christmas tree. So tonight we're gonna set up the tree, but we're not gonna decorate it until tomorrow. So you guys will have to come back for a future video where you get to see us put up the Christmas tree and decorate it. But I got my Christmas pajamas on. We are ready to decorate for Christmas. But I hope this video gave you some motivation to tackle something on your to-do list today. If it did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It does support my channel. Be sure to have on that notification bell so you don't miss my future videos, especially my Christmas decorate and clean with me. You guys won't want to miss it. I have lots of fun videos planned for December. I'm still going to have my cleaning motivation, but I am going to have a few fun collabs mixed in there. So I'm super excited for Christmas. I won't upload every day because I just don't think that is possible with four kids and all this craziness. So I'm going to probably upload at least three times a week. So be sure to have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss all my fun videos coming up in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.